John Neil here. It's Wednesday the 28th of August and I've returned to Hartsill, just outside the Neaton, to have a look at the castle. It's over there look. There's the wall to it anyway. Well, this little path at the southern end of the woods is quite mysterious and almost completely overgrown. But the castle is here somewhere. Just can't see for the ah oh, ah. Oh, there it is. The castle's actually on private land, but you couldn't get through anyway with these brambles and nettles. It's an absolute nightmare. Ah, but one of the exterior walls now comes into view. Oh, it's a little hidey hole here as well. Look, let's have a peek through. You can see this is quite a substantial wall, no doubt built from local stone. Hartsell Hayes Wood is an absolutely wonderful, mysterious place, particularly down that bottom end here, where not so many people end up going. It's right the other end from the car park, and eventually you come across the uh, Hartsell Cemetery. Well, I'm at the bottom of Hartsell Hayes here, among all the trees. And uh, you really can't see much of the castle from here at all. So it looks like I'll have to get the drone up and have a, a better view from up there. But I can tell you this much. Um, it says here that the Mott and Bailey, the first building that was here, although there has been people living here for thousands of years apparently, but the Mott and Bailey, which is a sort of an earthwork castle, was built in 1125. And then in 1330, a stone castle was built and then a manor house in 1560. Just so happens that the uh, Mott and Bailey was built by somebody called Hugh de Hartzell, and then the stone castle by John de Hartzell. Let me stop there a minute and tell you why. My two sons are called John and Hugh. Hugh's the younger of the two, and he was actually born upstairs in Charmwood Drive, where we used to live. And his brother John was born just in Nuneaton. And then it says later on, Michael and Edmund Parker built the manor house, which was in 1560. And it was in use until uh, the 1950s. But it seems it's uh, been ra uh, degraded into rack and ruin through vandalism. And people were, as they did with most uh, buildings like this before they realised they were valuable, they, were, um, they used to take the stone... And it's built of local stone, of course, because this is where it was quarried. Um, but that's all we've got left at the moment. And uh, somebody said in my previous video about Hartsill that I flew the drone over the top of here and didn't mention the castle. So there you go. I'm not going to apologise, say, sorry, I didn't. I could do, but no, I wasn't going to mention everything, but here we are. A special little video for you just to do with the castle.
see this exterior wall and this brickwork I think must be the remains of the chimney stack at the end of what was the manor house. While I was in the area and there was nobody about, I thought I'd go and have a look at Hartsill Holy Trinity Church, which is quite a magnificent building. Apparently it's just over 150 years old and at one point in the early stages of its being built, some of it fell down. But anyway, all was well in the end and you end up with this rather magnificent uh, church which we have today. Ah, well there you go. <laughs> that flight round the church, I enjoyed that. Nobody can say I don't read the comments because Jeff Ward uh, commented on the last video I did around Hartsell here. He said, um, yeah, I would love to the drone to follow Nuneaton Road from the Green to Mansetter Road, which I believe is down the hill. So here you are, Jeff. There's Hartsell Green directly below us and uh, Drayton Court with all its new roofs on it. Trenton Road on the left and the Atherston Road going downhill towards the canal. So many of these patches of ground have been dug out as quarries in the past and then refilled with landfill. There is a huge development going on at the sewage works over there and here is Salval the animal rendering plant and swinging round you can see the quarries in the background and we're looking back towards Hartsill Green. And somebody else has mentioned that, um, have you seen, yeah, Sue Foster says, have you seen the uh, new village sign on the green? I've missed that, so when I go back, I'll have a closer look. And the bench you sat on was provided by the parish council. And also, there's a little sign for some uh, wild flowers over here, which the parish council apparently had uh, done that. So somebody on the parish council is thinking about what's going on and doing a good job. So well done them. If you have any more comments, uh, it's a fascinating area this. Yeah, please write the comments down. I, I always read them and try to respond to them as well. So thanks for that. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and like the video. Apparently it does help. And um, you will see me next time. The only car I've seen and this too. Right, let's go and have a look for that uh, sign on the green. And here is the sign. Handsome it is too. 
On the top is Hartsell Hayes with the bluebells, famous of those. The canal to the left, the castle in the middle, and a quarryman on the right hand side. And finally, a blue sign on the side of Drayton Court, giving details of Michael Drayton, as I've said before, contemporary and friend of William Shakespeare. <laughs>